So this is part of a display I've made uh, for my school. And if I zoom out, uh, you'll see that this thing here is actually up on the wall. So this is like a big wall display in a corridor. So this is something I've been making for the last few months. So it's sort of in my lunch times, a little bit of time after school. Uh, not so much for A-level, but definitely for sort of key stage three and key stage four. So I thought I'd sort of show you uh, what I've made and uh, the different features of it. So I made all of the water just using toilet paper and glue, uh, and I basically stuck it down and then painted it. So as you can see, we've got uh, some offshore wind turbines and a couple of different sorts of wave machines. As the waves go through, uh, they often turn turbines, which causes some uh, electricity to be produced. Uh, moving to land, we've got a tidal barrage in here. Um, and then up on this thing, we've got a uh, sustainable forest. You can see there's some deforestation that's kind of taken place up here uh, with the old forest and then a new plantation put in. So that's one of the ways that we can get biofuel. Um, moving along, I've got, uh, I guess, a farmhouse here, which I'm quite pleased with, so I just made that out of a kit. Uh, solar panel on the roof, and then we've got a whole solar farm out here, like the ones we, you start to sort of see in the fields. Uh, past the pylons, and I'm particularly pleased because you can just about see that even the pylons have uh, electricity cables running through them. Uh, we go past the pylons uh, over to some kind of hydroelectric dam, um, where, again, you know, we're, we're converting this kind of uh, gravitational potential store of energy into electricity. Uh, another wind turbine on the hill, uh, and a few other kind of details, and also then uh, fields of uh, sort of oilseed rape, which can be used for making biodiesel. So this is something that has taken uh, quite a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, if you want one at your school, just ask your teachers to make one in their lunchtime. But I think it's just, uh, just nice to have a look at, and it's nice to have these kind of big displays as you come down a corridor uh, to actually sort of look at all the different ways that we can generate electricity in the future without having to rely on sort of burning oil and coal and gas. So that's it. That's my display.